The year is 2017. The Rays are in the midst of a rebuild. Hurricane Irma is coming in and destroys part of Florida. We get Hollow Knight and Rain World in the span of about a month. And Nintendo releases the Switch. A seemingly innocuous device that is only just about to become the best-selling video game console of all time. Many franchises have found great success here. Zelda with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Odyssey and Wonder, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Pikmin 4, uh, Pokemon, I guess. But if there's one mainstay Nintendo franchise that often gets overlooked, it's Metroid. Metroid has always been in turmoil since its inception, with low sales across the whole series despite putting out incredible games. Super Metroid is seen as the godfather of all modern Metroidvanias along with Symphony of the Night, and the Metroid Prime trilogy has somehow brought the games to 3D in an excellent way, with the first game being seen as one of the greatest of all time. And yet despite all of that, Nintendo still remains hesitant to even make new games. The last new 2D Metroid game was Metroid Fusion all the way back in 2002, and the last Metroid Prime was in 2007. After Other M, the series entered another hiatus, but that looks to be changing, as E3 2017 gave us not one, but two new games. The first being a remake of Metroid 2 for the 3DS, and the second being one fans have been waiting for for a long time. Metroid Prime 4, now in development. The words that would haunt the fanbase for the next several years. A tale of delays, pushbacks, development hell, and uncertainty. Was Metroid Prime 4 ever going to come out? Will it ever be finished? Is it even real? Well, a lot has happened since June 13th, 2017, and Metroid fans have had to wait a long, long time. Now, why did they reveal the game when they were probably only just beginning to work on it? Well, the most likely reason was to garner hype for the new console. I mean, 2017 was the year Nintendo brought out their big guns. However, it was soon revealed that Retro Studios, developers of the previous three games, were not involved with this one, and it wouldn't be until February 2018, 242 days after the reveal, that the true developers became known. Bandai Namco Singapore who had previously worked on Super Smash Bros. 4 and Pokémon Tournament, were now the lead developers in Metroid Prime 4. It was a move that left some fans a little confused as to why Retro was seemingly abandoned, but many thought they were just busy working on some Donkey Kong or Star Fox game. Yeah, that aged well. At E3 2018, one year after the reveal, Nintendo made it clear that Prime 4 would not appear as the Direct was mainly focused on Smash Ultimate. However, not long later, here comes Reggie once again to swoop in with the update. Rest assured, Metroid Prime 4 is still in development and proceeding well. Great news indeed, thank you buddy. Throughout the rest of the year, Reggie continued to be a little mischievous, with this picture of him wearing a Metroid shirt with Jeff Kelly, sparking rumors of the game being shown at the Game Awards. But. Of course, it did not appear. However, we did get another update before the year ended, 520 days after the reveal, saying development was going well. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Well, 72 days later, in January 2019, the big news drops, and it's not good. プロデューサーのタナベと共にオリジナルのメトロイドプライムシリーズの開発を担当したアメリカのレトロスタジオと互いに信頼し合い協力して開発を一から再スタートさせることにしました大変心苦しいのですが私たちがメトロイドプライム
and Retro Studios is being brought back in to work on the game. With that, any hopes of seeing the game anytime soon were all but eliminated. Fans figured it would probably be another couple years before we got anything new. So they once again sat and waited. 2019 came and went without any more big news, though Retro did begin to start posting job applications that at least showed they were indeed working on it. 683 days after the reveal, job listings like art director, product tester, and lead character artist were dropped. In October, they got their guy with Kyle Heffley, who formerly worked on the Halo series. There was even talk of them outsourcing environmental work to help speed up dev time. It indeed seemed like Retro was doing everything from scratch, and all the work from Bandai Namco over the past two years was just thrown in the trash. The original Metroid Prime 4 was dead, and now, just as the new one was getting off the ground, the pandemic had to come in and complicate things. The story is well known, a countless number of games were delayed, thrown off, or had issues with development during the pandemic, and Metroid Prime 4 was surely no exception. Of course, there were still leakers and rumors going around claiming, THIS IS THE ONE! THIS IS WHERE THEY SHOW THE GAME! Usually, they had no evidence to back this up, just going off some guy's word. And when they were obviously proven false, the fanbase grew more and more bitter. During this whole shit show with rumors in March 2020, the mark was passed where it had now been 1,000 days since the reveal. With each passing direct, the cycle of hype, disappointment, and coping continued. The only big news to come out of the big end this year was the stuff surrounding Mario's 35th anniversary. And once again, Metroid fans were left in the dark. We now enter year four of the wait, and with E3 back, surely this is the perfect opportunity to bring the game back into the spotlight. Sure, they were probably still far off from release, but they could at least assure the general populace that the game was still in development. 1,464 days after the reveal, Nintendo at E3 gave Metroid fans an unexpected treat, as, well, they got their wish. Kinda. A new 2D Metroid, the long-awaited Metroid Dread, came out of nowhere and was set to be released in October. Takayashi also briefly mentioned once again that, yes, they are still working on Metroid Prime 4, which at least confirmed it wasn't cancelled. But whatever man, a new 2D Metroid? It's been 19 years since Fusion, and 14 years since that little tease back in Prime 3. But now, it was finally here. In October 2021, Metroid Dread indeed came out. And it was indeed fucking awesome. And people loved it. So while there was still nothing about Prime 4 on the horizon, at least fans had something to enjoy in the meantime. They would have to savor it, as the next two years were absolutely parched with the news. 1,711 days after the reveal, Retro Studios was finally able to show us another JPEG. Absolutely hype. Of course, this led many people to think there would be news this year, which there wasn't. In early December, the community celebrated 2,000 days since the reveal, as now over five and a half years have passed. To put that in perspective, in June 2017, I had just finished my first year of high school, and now, in December 2022, I was in my third year of college. Time flies when you're not paying attention, I guess. But one constant remained, the fact that Metroid Prime 4 was seemingly never coming out. Much like some other well-known game that people have been waiting for for a long time, updates were sparse, as Nintendo and Retro were keeping a tight leash on any potential leaks. There were no Kickstarter logins, likes on Twitter, or other bullshit like that to keep the Metroid fans from going into a frenzy. But still, the wait felt like an eternity. I mean, we're in year six now, and there's still silence. In February 2023, 
2067 days after the reveal, fans at least got a little solace with Metroid Prime Remastered, a surprise announcement that of course gave people false hope that Prime 4 was coming, as well as bringing back Prime 2 and 3, which never happened. It seemed like Nintendo was leaving little breadcrumbs for the fans to tie them over, as while they were gearing up for their next console, it seemed that the game that was initially revealed just a few months into the Switch's lifespan wouldn't even come out for the console. We moved on. At least I did. I had gone from being hyped to getting frustrated to simply not giving a shit. Life was pushing us all forward, and at least it gave a little hope that after all this time, this little game had existed for all these years. Will it ever come out? Probably. And will I buy it when it does? Absolutely. But for now, at least I got all of these other great games to play in the meantime. So as the days rolled on, the wait continued. 2,518 days after Metroid Prime 4 was revealed, I graduated college. To think I was only a freshman in high school when the game was first announced. People were born, people died, and the whole world changed during the wait. Some who were excited to play the game when it was announced, unfortunately, never got the chance to. But there was nothing any of us could do but wait. On June 13th, the wait had reached seven years. A lot can happen in seven years. It's 2024 now, the Switch's successor is on the horizon. The Rays had their whole competing thing and now are back to being mid. There's probably another hurricane out there brewing right now to come straight to Florida. And it's not like we've been lacking in Metroidvanias as of late. Nine Souls and Animal Well just came out a couple months ago, both really good games. But the more things change, the more they stay the same. The wait for Metroid Prime 4 has been eternal, unchanging, and static ever since that fateful day seven years ago. When this game finally does come out, it will be a huge day in the Metroid community, and hopefully it will live up to all our expectations and be truly outstanding. I personally have hope it'll be pretty good, and all of these years later, I still go into every new Direct with just the slightest hope that maybe this is the one. The one where all our time, all our patience, is finally rewarded. Man, what a day that'll be. Here comes Metroid. Wait, holy shit. Oh! No fucking way, actually. No fucking way. What? What? <laughs> it is... It is fucking Metroid! Is it a Prime 4? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's fucking Metroid Prime 4! Yeah!